So for today, we got this GMC Denali truck in here. The reason I say truck because it has a GMC Denali front end on there. That normally comes from the Yukons, I believe. So we're doing this damn repairs on the bed. We did find somebody's old repair on there, which it looks like they use Otto's one body filler, the brand Bondo, which everybody in the industry knows that that shit's no good. We're gonna have to remove all that to do it the right way. So we got this thing in here today. Gonna try to find all the dents on there. Take care of all the dents. Just in the bed, I think the cab is good. He said just the bed, go ahead and take care of the dents on the bed because this truck's gonna go and get wrap. It's gonna get a full wrap. So of course you want the dents fixed before you wrap it because it will it would show if you wrap the truck and leave the dents on there, they would show, they would bleed through. So it's better just take care of them now and you have a cleaner look, cleaner wrap. So yeah. Got the GMC Denali pulled outside. Beautiful day to work outside. Cause we got the OBS in here. We're getting ready to start pulling all the dents on her. Got my little cousin working on her right now. We got this dent pulled out on this truck. We got this dent pulled out on this truck. The customer requested on, he only wanted the uh, dents on the bed pulled out. We wouldn't go ahead and fix that. He had a little dent up there. I'm finishing blocking this thing right here. As y'all can see, it had a big damage there. We're able to pull as much as we can out, fix the metal pretty much straight. And then we did a couple coats of uh, real body filler, not that pink stuff from AutoZone. Don't buy that crap, guys. That stuff sucks. It fails, it falls off. It absorbs water, it's no good. And then we got the dents pulled out here, had a couple. We had like one here, one here, one here, one here. So we ended up fixing that, blending that. Took care of the den down there as well. So she's pretty much almost ready to go. What's today? Friday. I think she'll be ready to go home tomorrow. So there it is. Working on this beautiful OBS over here. As y'all can tell in my previous videos, we circle all the dents, all the damage that was on the OBS. It looks like now we're gonna have to replace door pins. We're gonna have to replace that door pin on this side because the door is sagging. Same as well over here because we are doing a full paint job on this one. So we don't want our paint chipping or messing up, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and replace the door pins on that. But first of all, we're gonna remove all the dents. Look like at a big dam back here too. Yeah. Hopefully the window's not in the way right there, pulling it out. Hopefully not, I don't think so. Pero there it is today. This is what we got going on in the shop. We are getting ready to put the bed back on my son's truck in the Sierra. Uh, just because I need room, I'm gonna put the OBS bed in here. This truck's basically almost done. I am gonna think, I am gonna paint it. He wants it green. But before I shoot the paint on this one, I'm gonna shoot the paint on the OBS. And then I got another one lined up, a caddy, a cat app, a cat app front end. Well, we don't know what color we're gonna shoot that one, but yeah. That's supposed to be a little secret, but it just came out. But um, there it is. Hopefully right now we'll get some help, put that bed back on here. That way we don't risk getting any scratches on it or anything too, because we're gonna be working and grinding on the OBS. We're getting ready to tape the windows as well. We're not gonna leave the windows like that. I don't want the windows getting scratched up. Pero, yep. There. That's what we got going on.
are done with this bad boy. Got the target back on there. We got the light back on there. We just finished priming in that corner right there. Got the dent pulled out right there, all fixed, all squared up. Everything blocked, ready to go. Got me, nothing came out, man. Can't even tell there was dents right there. <clears throat> and on this side, got the dent pulled out right here. Some in the fender. And there it is for this GMC Denali. GMC bed on there. Still gotta finish the tailgate. I think once I'm done painting the OBS, I'm gonna get back on this one. Finish that tailgate. Or do it in between. We fixed that tire. The tire had an air leak. We fixed that. We just put a little plug on there. Those tires are no good. The tires gotta get, get replaced. But we do have a surprise for my boy. Now that's why I'm doing this video too. What's today? Friday. Tomorrow we're going to be getting some wheels for him. He doesn't know anything. But I'll, I'll record it. But there it is. Pretty straight. Not bad for him doing the, the body work on the bed and shaving off the state pockets. He did all this. I was teaching him how to do it. He welded them. Grinded them and shaved them off. Did a couple things that the bed had on there as well. Not bad. Still needs to be C notch. We just got the bed on there chilling. It has a complete flip kit, but it's not C notch yet, so uh, he's not gonna be driving it like that. Still in high school, he's not gonna drive it at all until he gets a driver's license or graduates high school. But that's a cool little project for a, a six, 17 year old. No GMC. Here are the wheels. That's what the truck looks like before. Here's the other two. Didn't get to record his reaction because somebody spoiled it. But he got him. He's a pretty happy camper. Not bad. We got the two back wheels on. We're fixing to put the two front ones right now. Look at the difference though. How wheels make a big difference. They don't need to be the nicest wheels, but they do make a difference. And what are these called? Snowflakes, huh? Let's get the two front ones on there. There it is, we got both of them on. In the front, all four of them on. Just gotta bring it down from the jack. I'll probably just record in the daytime. It's too dark out right now. But it looks good and everything matches because it has a black i left black accents on it the black mirrors black windows black grill so the wheels went with it it's gonna match pretty good there are 24s so yeah and there it is in the daylight 
That's what the Sierra looks like. I think it's a car wash. Tires are all dirty. But besides that, she looks good. Oh, my boy's hella happy. What else she needs to drop? Probably a drop spindle to cover some of that wheel gap. But I está. He's a happy camper. And hopefully this weekend we'll get we'll pull that target off in primer too. Get it all sealed up in primer. That way it looks like a whole complete truck. 